Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome everybody. Uh, I hope you are doing well. Well, today we are going to have a new lesson uh, in the unit, uh, in a new unit too, a new unit and the new lesson. Last time, if you remember, we have dealt with the unit house, we dealt with the vocabulary section, we dealt with the reading activity, writing, and so on. So today we're going to have a new unit and a new uh, lesson related to vocabulary section. Uh, so before we get started, let's do a very short review, some uh, form of brainstorming, right? right? So I give you right now some different words, then you tell me what are they about. أعطيكم مجموعة كلمات وقولوا لي ماذا عسى يكون الموضوع okay. If I say uh, apples, strawberry, cherries, watermelon, melon, oranges What are these? Very good That's fruits okay. That's fruits Now if I say correction pan, stapler, scissors, rubber, calculator what are these? Very good. That's cool object. Again, if I say physics, English, mathematics, science, Islamic education, what are these? Very good. These are school subjects. Now, let me give you right now new words. If I say soccer, handball, gymnastics, Skiing, karate, what are these? Very good, that's sport. So today's lesson, everybody, is going to be about, is going to be about sport, okay? So, uh, sport, we are going to start this unit with the vocabulary section, and this is going to be part one. So, this is going to be part one, and this is going to be المعجم وحدة الرياضة and uh, we are going to have of course part 2 and part 3 هذا الفيديو يتعلق بالجزء الأول من المعجم يعني ستكون ثمة تتم لهذا الدرس في أجزاء أخرى إن شاء الله okay. so let's deal with um, first share some lesson objectives إذن أهداف هذا الدرس كاملة هو أولا هي أولا exploring new word items related to sport and نكتشف أسماء ل أسماء لرياضات شتى ولما أقول أكتشف أسماء يعني ينبغي أن تكون معرفة عندي معرفة معجمية لا بأس بها بيت بخصوص أسماء الرياضة أسماء الرياضة وكيف أنطق هذه الأسماء هذه الكلمات هذا ما الهدف الأول من هذا الدرس الجزء أو الهدف الثاني right, the second objective that we're going to meet is to classify be able to classify sports into categories تصنيف القدرة على تصنيف هذه الرياضات وأسماء الرياضات إلى uh, إلى أصناف وأنواع مختلفة okay. وهذا التصنيف الهدف منه طبعا هو ترسيخ هذه الكلمات حتى تكون عندنا في الذهن uh, يعني منظمة ويسهل علينا حفظها والحفاظ عليها في الذاكرة okay. so that we uh, retain we have the bill we you know, become able to retain those and store those words in our minds and be able to retrieve them too and the last objective وآخر هدف من هذا الدرس من درس المعجم كاملا is to explore and use sport verbs correctly هو استعمال أن نكتشف أولا ونستعمل بعض ما نسميه بأفعال الرياضة بشكل صحيح ثم بعض الأفعال مهمة جدا ولا بد أن نعرف كيف نستعملها مع أسماء المتعلقة بالرياضة okay. فنتوكل على الله Let's go ahead right, and uh, move on to the first thing we are going to have here in this lesson is the sport names So uh, what we are going to do right now I'm going to introduce uh, word by word right? So أقدم كلمة كلمة right? وسأنطق الكلمة right? ثم أعطيك مهلة لتنطقها معي right? إذا ردد معي نطق الكلمة كما سمعتها okay? لأن النطق هو أول شيء ينبغي أن تنتبه إليه قبل معرفة المعاني okay? So the word number one is baseball B 
baseball gymnastics gymnastics cycling cycling soccer soccer handball handball judo judo skiing skiing Hear your attention and انتبه هنا البعض ال ing that we have at the end of the word ing اللي عندنا في في اخر الكلمه بعض التلاميذ يخطئون ويقولون سكينج سكينج يقومون بنطق هذا الجي المتاخره في الكلمه great uh, والصحيح we say here سكينج ن ن great and not g we say سكينج 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 very good, good. All right, let's move on right now to discover the meaning of the following words and then move on to another group of sports. There are so many sports. Right, so this is the first part related to the sport names. Right. Right, so uh, we have here, we still have another word. Hunting. Hunting. Good. Let's move right now to discover the meanings of the words. Also, we got here a couple of pictures, right? And then a مجموعة صور هنا مرتبطة ب أسماء الرياضات الموجودة على اليمين, right? So now we want right now to match the words on the right to their pictures uh, on the left, right? So let's. Uh, start right now. Think uh, about which picture, about the name of which, of which picture. So I give you some time. I give you some greatly تفكير ومحاولة توصل كل صورة باسمها. Okay. So you can pause the video right now and uh, do, the, do the task first. Right. قم بإيقاف الفيديو واكتشف. معاني كل كلمة كلمة right. قم بوصل كل كلمة بصورتها okay. قم بوقف الفيديو right. uh, قبل المواصل okay. nice good now that you have finished right now let's move on right now to the correction ننتقل إلى التصحيح الآن right. let's say here uh, the picture number one الصورة الأولى ماذا عساها تكون what's the name of the picture number one what does it represent very good. That's soccer. Okay, that's soccer. Picture number two. Very good. That's gymnastics. Picture number three. Judo. Very good. Picture four. Hunting. Very good. Picture five. Cycling. Yes. Picture six. Skiing. Very good. Picture number seven. Baseball, very good. The last picture, number eight. Handball, very good. Let's move on right now. So you correct your own mistakes if you have any mistakes. إذا كان عندك ثمة من خطأ, right? فصحح. ثم ننتقل إلى مجموعة ثانية من الكلمات والأسماء. Horse riding. Horse riding. Running. Running. Handball. Handball, swimming, swimming, tennis, tennis, boxing, boxing, karate, karate, weightlifting, weightlifting. Very good. Now that we have right now practiced the pronunciation of the words, so let's move on right now to match the words to the appropriate pictures. نصل الآن بعد نطق الكلمات نطقا صحيحا. Great. نلتقل إلى وصل كل صورة باسمها المناسب. Okay. Let's start with the picture number nine. نبدأ بالصورة التاسعة. ماذا عساها تكون? What does it represent? Very good. Tennis. 
texture number 10 طبعا المطلوب منك ايقاف الفيديو مره اخرى ثم محاوله انجاز تمرين قبل ان نواصل اوكي فليكن هذا مثالا ثم اوقف الان جريت اوقف الفيديو جريت ثم قم بانجاز وصل كل صوره باسمها من بعد ذلك قم بمواصله الفيديو من اجل اكتشاف الاجوبه الصحيحه اوكي جود نمبر 10 اوكي ليتس دو تو ذا كوركشن نمبر 10 بوكسين فيري جود نمبر 11 ران ان نمبر 12 هاند بول فيري جود نمبر 13 كاراتي نمبر 14 ويت ليفتين نمبر 15 سويمين اند ذا لاست وان نمبر 16 Horse riding. Very good. Now you have to correct your own mistakes if you have any mistakes. And let's move right now to the next uh, activity. It's going to be to classify the words related to uh, to sport into categories. Okay. Right, so what do you think is um, what type? Uh, what do you think is the kind of categories or types that we uh, can make as far as sports are concerned? ماذا في نظرك؟ Uh, ماذا عسى يكون في نظرك التصنيف الذي يمكن uh, أن يكون أن, أن, أن نقيمه في, فيما يتعلق بالرياضات لاش كأنك uh, درست يعني دروسا شتى في مادة الرياضة بالمدرسة right. so there must be you must have an idea لابد أن تكون عندك فكرة بخصوص هذا الموضوع yes very good right. so we're going to have here two we're going to have two basic types of sports we have individual sports and then we have team sports عندنا رياضات اللي هما individual بمعنى رياضات فردية يقوم بها الفرد يقوم بها الفرد منفردا and then team sports رياضات جماعية يعني بين جماعة وجماعة هذا هو المقصود ها هنا right so it's not to uh, you know to Uh, confused uh, to be confused great حتى لا لا تختلط علينا الامور ها هنا great فليكن مفهومنا مفهومنا فليكن مفهوم مفهومنا للرياضه uh, الفرديه هي التي يقوم بها uh, الشخص uh, uh, منفردا وان كان مع الجماعه اوكي okay? and then we have here team sports رياضات بين جماعه وجماعه وبين فرقه وفرقه اوكي okay? Here we got a task. We have a couple of words. And then a majmuat kalimat ha huna al yamin on the right. And we need right now to classify them into categories individual or team sports. Kum bi iqaf al video mara ukhra. Pause the video and then try to do the following task. Okay? Do this task in your part exercises. Try to put each word in the right category, in the right column. And uh, then do the correction later, okay? إذا قم بإيقاف الفيديو الآن ثم قم بإنجاز تمرين ثم بعد ذلك واصل الفيديو, okay? جيد, great. Now that you have fi finished right now the exercise or the task, let's move right now to start with the word handball. نبدأ بكلمة handball. ماذا عساها تكون, great? Where can we put it? Is it under the individual sports or team sport? Very good. It's a, a team sport. It is a team sport. Very good. Riyadha Jama'iya. Great. Team against uh, versus a team. Great. Let's move to soccer. Soccer. Very good. That's a team sport too. Good. Let's move to gymnastics. Great, it's an individual sport. Let's move right now to baseball. Good, that's a team sport too. Let's move to skiing. Skiing is an individual sport, great. There is one uh, going skiing, great. And then let's move to um, cycling. Is it individual or team sport? Very good. Cycling here 
It's a sport in which we use the bike or the bicycle. It's an individual sport. Uh, what about judo? Very good. That's an individual sport too. How about hunting? Mother and you said hunting. It's clear. It's an it's uh I'm sorry, we have made a mistake here. Hunting, right? Sorry, I don't say that it's an individual sport either, right? فإذا نعتذر على هذا الخطأ great وضع uh, كلمة hunting في الجهة اليسرى great on the left side it's an individual sport great هي رياضة فرضية أيضا في الخانة الأولى individual sport great thank you very much for your uh, attention and see you next time in the second part of this video okay all the best and goodbye thank you very much for your attention